The Cardano for Bitcoin series has so far analyzed over 25 criticisms of the Cardano blockchain. In dissecting these narratives, an alternative perspective has been laid out with the motivation to find valuable common ground between two hugely influential blockchain communities. If you haven't already, be sure to catch up on the first five installments after watching this video for a full picture on this big blockchain topic. All will be linked in the description below. But now we turn our attention to Cardano's unique advantages to understand in what areas it excels in comparison to Bitcoin. The following episodes will present a collection of advantages and core features born out of a very deliberate approach to blockchain design architecture that will have you questioning if in fact Cardano is Bitcoin 2.0. Don't trust but verify, always do your own research because the devil is in the detail. Welcome back to Sapien, the channel for in-depth coverage and breakdowns of the most disruptive technology that's challenging the economic, political and social systems of the world. Just before we dive in, this video is brought to you in partnership with the Cardano fans Staple, whose founders are great contributors to the Cardano ecosystem. They are the creators of the Cardano Blockchain Insights and Cardano DApp analytics platforms. Our collaboration will spearhead a stream of Sapien content to further the reach of Cardano and its impressive technology. So if you find value in the content and want to help support this effort, please consider delegating to the Cardano Staple ticker, CRFA, for a smooth staking experience. Full details are linked in the video description. For now though, Let's dive into the video. The first Cardano advantage is a contentious one as it relates to the project founder Charles Hoskinson and Cardano's position in being a third mover in the blockchain space. So let's unpack this thought. While first movers capture that initial network effect by introducing something new, being a third mover presents great opportunity to learn and innovate from a technological standpoint. It's important we make this distinction because we are talking about the technology, not blockchain popularity. This is how technology has evolved through the ages. It improves over time by learning from what came before. In building its blockchain architecture by observing both the successes and limitations of earlier blockchain systems, Cardano has been able to produce a significantly more advanced technology capable of realizing what is an extraordinary vision. In many respects, Cardano is as much an evolution of Bitcoin and Ethereum as it is an innovation of its own merit. But what I think compounds this advantage further and is often overlooked is the role Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson played in the early days of both Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can begin to understand a lot about the purpose and potential of Cardano as a technology when you consider the background of its founder. Charles was in the space in the early days of Bitcoin. His involvement with its community was primarily centered on education and advocacy. Before co-founding Ethereum and later Cardano, Hoskinson was an active member of the Bitcoin community where he focused on educating others about Bitcoin and the potential of its technology. He created educational content aimed at spreading awareness and understanding of what was the first generation of blockchain technology. He developed online courses and materials that helped people grasp the fundamentals of Bitcoin and blockchain at a time when these concepts were still new to the wider public. No matter what his critics may say, this played a role in expanding its community, onboarding new users, developers and enthusiasts into the space, which contributed to the broader adoption of Bitcoin. Although he wasn't specifically involved in Bitcoin's creation or its core development, Hoskinson's early involvement and engagement with the community provided him with a deep understanding of the technology and its ecosystem. This experience laid the groundwork for his later contributions to the industry and definitely influenced his approach to blockchain development, particularly in how he envisioned and built Cardano. In a similar respect, his co-founding of Ethereum, a second generation blockchain, enabled him to gain first-hand insights into its strengths and limitations. Although it was a second mover to Bitcoin, as a result of the introduction of smart contracts and programmability, Ethereum was able to capture a significant network effect by delivering far more use and utility. However, as a result of its well-documented vulnerabilities, Ethereum still presented great opportunity for a more secure, scalable and sustainable system to be produced. This unique perspective empowered Hoskinson to design Cardano, a third generation blockchain, with a clear direction. One that integrates the positive elements of its predecessors while avoiding their shortcomings and incorporating its own pioneering feats of engineering to address the challenges associated with its greater vision for blockchain. As a technology, Cardano's architecture benefits greatly from Hoskinson's involvement in both Bitcoin and Ethereum, I don't think this can be disputed, and is a huge factor in play that shouldn't be underestimated. This third mover advantage, coupled with Hoskinson's experience and vision, has enabled Cardano to not only address the blockchain trilemma from a more informed position, but also attack other issues such as energy consumption, governance and interoperability that have challenged earlier blockchains. As a technology, these factors provide Cardano a significant competitive edge, positioning it as a robust and forward-thinking blockchain platform that is well equipped to meet the evolving needs of a decentralized world. The second advantage relates to the project vision itself. 
Based on its mission statement roadmap and approach to development, the evidence suggests the Cardano blockchain is playing a completely different game to the rest of crypto, or at least the majority of mainstream projects and what the industry at large has decided to prioritise. The vision for Cardano is an ambitious one, create a comprehensive decentralised financial and social operating system that can effectively serve as a foundation for a new digital society is one way to frame it. It aims to transcend traditional systems by offering secure, scalable and inclusive services to people around the world, delivering a credible alternative capable of challenging the centralised legacy systems. Cardano is attempting to enable the creation of a so-called network state, where its blockchain evolves from a digital ecosystem into a self-governing, decentralised community that could potentially function as a virtual nation. By providing the infrastructure for identity, governance, social and economic systems on-chain, Cardano is facilitating the development of digital communities that operate independently of traditional nation states, eventually leading to physical communities organised around these digital principles. This vision underscores Cardano's potential to redefine governance, finance and social interaction on a global scale, laying the groundwork for a new form of societal organisation that's rooted in decentralised blockchain technology. Ultimately, Cardano envisions a decentralised world where blockchain technology enables a fairer, more inclusive global society, laying the groundwork for new forms of digital and physical communities. While the rest of crypto is fighting for highest TVL and number go up metrics, Cardano is busy tackling the makings of a world financial and social operating system and has assembled the best in class engineers, scientists and researchers from around the world to achieve it. Working toward this grand vision for blockchain is in my opinion the blueprint for mass adoption because of what it would mean for humanity. The vision has substance, is well thought out, meticulous in its execution, and by all intents and purposes, stands out from the industry as the true antidote to you'll own nothing and be happy. It's Cardano that is making up serious ground in achieving this when compared to the rest of the industry from a technological and community perspective. And this is where the key advantage lies. If the industry as a whole suddenly decides to pivot and starts caring about things like decentralized, secure, highly programmable and scalable mission critical software that's actually capable of realizing the true promise of a blockchain system, it's Cardano that is already leaps and bounds ahead at the cutting edge of this technology. If you're interested in exploring this vision further, check out my video on Cardano and the network state linked in the description for a bit of a deeper dive on this topic. Central to this vision and the third advantage is Cardano's commitment for its technological foundation to be built upon an academic peer-reviewed process. In an industry littered with misleading claims about the technological capabilities of blockchain systems, this approach enables you to cement the capabilities into reality. Peer review is an independent objective process that backs up these claims with scientific rigour. This again is vital for long-term mass adoption. If the claims about a technology are made solely by those who are building it, how can someone with Without the relevant expertise read the code and verify that the protocols are sound. By implementing this approach to develop all of the protocols behind Cardano means neutral members of the academic community from all over the world with no financial incentive have agreed these protocols are legit. If you value truth, transparency and quality of the code, can you think of a better foundation to build a blockchain system? Peer review has no founder, it can't be compromised or manipulated and it only cares for correctness. But the most compelling reason why the peer-reviewed approach sets Cardano and its technology apart is the fact that peer review provides that decentralized brain. While a founder is important for communicating a vision, if the tech is only as smart as and relies solely on its founder, then you have the ultimate point of failure and tremendous limitations. If the founder leaves the project or is no longer, who is responsible for continuing its evolution or delivery? Peer review provides a decentralized innovation network. Cardano or its core development team, IOG, have labs set up across the world in the most prestigious universities. This means, should the Cardano community want to continue funding this decentralized brain, it has what can be referred to as a faceless global innovation engine. By integrating this process into all of its tech development, it employs a rigorous framework backed by over 200 research papers published in peer-reviewed journals to ensure audited robustness and the highest security guarantees. This methodical approach prioritizes long-term stability, minimizes the risk of vulnerabilities, and ensures that updates and improvements are scientifically validated. Turning to academia, the combination of scientific rigor and peer-reviewed research ensures that the platform is built on both a solid and adaptable foundation. Cardano's development approach is a key 
key differentiator in the industry. Unlike many other blockchain projects that often prioritize rapid development, Cardano focuses on rigorous academic research and formal verification to guide its design and implementation. This method ensures that every aspect of Cardano's architecture is thoroughly vetted for security, scalability and sustainability before being deployed. As a result, Cardano has produced mission-critical software. We value the peer-reviewed scientific approach in medicine, aviation, aerospace engineering, biotechnology, cybersecurity. The list of industries that use this method goes on and on. These industries rely on the peer-reviewed process to validate and disseminate research findings, ensuring that only high-quality, credible and scientifically sound information is used in decision-making and innovation. So why not for our blockchain systems? When you consider what Cardano as a technology has already and is attempting to achieve, its decision to integrate this practice into its development is a masterstroke. This segues perfectly into the fourth advantage, a formally verified blockchain ledger. Formal verification is the mathematical process of proving that a system, algorithm or software behaves as intended and meets its specifications without errors. It achieves this by using logical methods and tools to rigorously analyse the system's design or code against its formal specifications, ensuring all possible states and behaviours are correct. The ledger is the cornerstone of any blockchain system, serving as the authoritative record of all activity on the network. Its security is vital because it underpins the integrity, trust and functionality of the entire blockchain ecosystem. Without a secure ledger, the entire value proposition of blockchain, decentralization, immutability, transparency and trustlessness would be compromised, making the system unreliable and vulnerable to attacks. Cardano's use of formal verification to produce high assurance code, particularly through its choice to use Haskell, a functional programming language, sets it apart from the rest of the industry by ensuring unparalleled security and reliability in its ledger. Just as mission critical industries like aviation, cybersecurity, and military defense rely on formal methods to guarantee the safety and precision of their systems, Cardano employs these rigorous techniques to minimize bugs and vulnerabilities in its code base. This approach ensures that the ledger, the foundational record, of all network activity is provably secure and no other blockchain can boast this mass adoption defining feature. In contrast to other blockchains including Bitcoin which often lack this level of assurance, Cardano's commitment to formal verification provides strong guarantees about the integrity and security of its ledger. By building on the most solid foundations, Cardano ensures that its blockchain is not only robust but also uniquely trustworthy, making it arguably the most provably secure blockchain in existence. Just as a country's stability depends on the integrity of its infrastructure, a blockchain's reliability hinges on the security of its ledger, and Cardano's approach offers the highest level of confidence in this critical aspect. If your vision is for a world operating system, you can't help but admire the attention to detail here. If we think of the ledger as the component that forms the basis of the country, if it can't be formally verified, then what guarantees do we actually have about the security of its very foundation? Now, Advantage 5 points to Cardano being a programmable version of Bitcoin. It's programmability that provides blockchain its limitless use cases. Cardano's extended UTXO, or the EUTXO model, retains the core principles of Bitcoin's UTXO model, but introduces several key enhancements to support smart contracts and dApps more effectively while maintaining its security. When compared to Bitcoin's UTXO model, EUTXO enables enhanced scriptability, deterministic transactions, parallel processing and tokenization through multi-asset support. The EUTXO model allows for more complex and programmable transactions, enabling smart contracts to execute with precise control over inputs and outputs. This results in greater predictability in transaction costs and outcomes, a significant advantage over Bitcoin's UTXO model which lacks this level of functionality. Cardano's deterministic execution model is a key benefit of its EUTXO design. The EUTXO's greater reliability allows developers to build more complex and sophisticated dApps such as decentralized exchanges with intricate trading algorithms without worrying about transaction failures or unexpected behavior. Moreover, the EUTXO model enhances scalability by allowing multiple operations to be processed in parallel, unlike Bitcoin's model, which can be more restrictive in handling complex transactions. This makes Cardano's EUTXO model not only more powerful, but also more efficient, providing a strong foundation for advanced applications while preserving the robustness and security of the traditional UTXO approach. 
Smart contracts are further enhanced by Cardano's use of the functional programming language Plutus, which supports formal verification. This means developers can prove mathematically that smart contracts will perform as intended, reducing the risk of bugs and vulnerabilities. The EUTXO model's combination of local state and formal verification provides a secure, predictable environment for building sophisticated, reliable, decentralized applications, making Cardano's approach more powerful than Bitcoin's and far more dependable or secure than the smart contracts of the EVM world. I have a deep dive into the power of formally verified smart contracts and how Cardano's design compares to that of Ethereum, linked in the video description. The innovation that is Cardano's EUTXO model is certainly evidence of how it has successfully adopted elements of Bitcoin's design architecture, but represents a significant evolution of the UTXO model, retaining its security and scalability benefits while expanding its capabilities to support complex smart contracts and dApps. By addressing some of the limitations of Bitcoin's UTXO model and offering clear advantages over the account-based model used by other blockchains, EUTXO positions Cardano as the premier platform for decentralized applications. With programmability comes dApps and more user activity on chain. A faster block time translates into a more responsive system. Advantage 6 highlights the importance of block time and compares how Cardano and Bitcoin differ in this respect. Fast block time is crucial in blockchain as it accelerates transaction confirmation, enhancing overall network efficiency, scalability and user experience. By supporting more transactions per second, reducing latency and improving security, fast block time makes blockchain technology more practical and competitive for everyday use, especially for real-time and high-demand applications. In comparison, Cardano and Bitcoin differ significantly in terms of block time execution. Bitcoin's block time averages around 10 minutes, meaning transactions are confirmed relatively slowly. This longer block time is due to Bitcoin's proof-of-work consensus mechanism, which requires miners to solve complex cryptographic puzzles, consuming more time and energy. In contrast, Cardano boasts a block time of around 20 seconds, thanks to the innovation that is Ouroboros, its proof-of-stake consensus protocol. This allows for much faster transaction confirmation, as it doesn't rely on energy-intensive mining, but instead on validators, chosen based on their stake in the network. Cardano's faster block time feeds into its utility and gives it a significant advantage in terms of transaction speed and network efficiency, making it more suitable for real-time applications and scalable for a broader range of use cases compared to that of Bitcoin. This is another nod to the careful planning of Cardano's well-thought-out architecture for a blockchain that as a system aims to operate at a global scale. This advantage positions Cardano as a more practical and future-proof platform for widespread adoption. The seventh and final advantage we will explore for today is the groundbreaking innovation of Cardano native assets. Whilst Cardano native assets and Bitcoin's ordinals or runes represent different approaches to asset creation on their respective blockchains, they differ significantly in their design, security and capabilities. This again points to another example of how a well thought out scientifically backed approach to blockchain architecture proves to be majorly beneficial. Tokenization on Cardano is taken to the next level as its native asset standard is integrated directly into the blockchain protocol, allowing for assets to be created with ease and treated as first-class citizens alongside ADA, with no need for additional layers or smart contracts. This contrasts with Bitcoin where assets like ordinals or runes are built on top of the blockchain, lacking native integration. Cardano's approach ensures that all assets benefit from the same security guarantees, fee structure and functionality as ADA. This makes it more efficient, cost-effective and secure when compared to Bitcoin's layered asset solutions that are lacking direct protocol level support. This adds complexity and can lead to security vulnerabilities as they do not inherently benefit from Bitcoin's base layer security. Unlike Bitcoin's layered approach, Cardano native assets are not smart contracts but are natively supported, meaning they incur no extra fees and enjoy a direct equal treatment across the entire network. This design offers superior security, reduced complexity and more efficient transaction handling, making Cardano's system more robust and user-friendly for asset creation and management. Besides sending, receiving and transacting in ADA, native assets fundamentally enables Cardano users to create and interact with custom assets right out of the box, meaning they can spend and exchange these tokens directly on the blockchain without the need for smart contracts. The minimum UTXO requirement ensures that every transaction involving native assets includes a small amount of ADA, which prevents spam and ensures the efficient use of blockchain resources. This mechanism protects the network by maintaining economic balance and security, ensuring that native assets are handled with the same rigor and reliability as ADA itself. 
The inherent advantage of native assets makes Cardano a highly attractive platform for enterprises and developers seeking scalable and cost-effective solutions for tokenization, which expands the use, utility and overall capabilities of the blockchain considerably. By natively supporting a diverse range of assets on the same ledger, Cardano surpasses Bitcoin's model, offering a more efficient, scalable and user-friendly environment for decentralized finance, tokenization and complex applications that will play a major role in the broader vision for Cardano as a global decentralized blockchain system. So that's it for today's episode, but be sure to look out for the next installment as we continue to explore Cardano's unique advantages over Bitcoin as the series continues. If you're new to the channel, check out the complete series for a full perspective on this big blockchain topic. I always have more Cardano insights and disruptive technology content coming very soon, so stay tuned for all of that. If you found value in the content and want to help Sapien reach a wider audience, please like, share and subscribe, which is the best way you can help support the channel. Until next time, as always, keep it Sapien, keep it blockchain, and most importantly, keep it Cardano.